Hi, I'm Jeremy, the author of Exploring Arduino. What you're about to watch is a brief video demonstration of one of the projects in the second edition of the book Exploring Arduino. If you don't already have the book, visit exploringarduino.com to learn more about it and where you can buy it. If you make a cool project from the book and want to share it, please use the hashtag Exploring Arduino on social media. Okay, good luck with the project. This video shows the Exploring Arduino thermostat project from Chapter 12, Edition 2, Interfacing with Liquid Crystal Displays. Here you can see we have our liquid crystal display here. Uh, we have our current temperature reading, 19 degrees Celsius, and our set point temperature reading, 23 degrees Celsius. The readings for temperature are coming from our I2C temperature sensor here. You can see the two pull-up resistors that pull it up to the 5-volt rail, and the wires connected back to the SDA and SCL pins on our Arduino Uno or Adafruit Metro or other similar board. You can also see here that we are powering the Metro with a 9-volt battery into the barrel jack connector. If you are using the Metro or another board that has an on-off switch for the barrel jack connector, make sure it's in the on position, of course. The 9 volts in from the battery powers both the 5 volt, regula 5 volt regulator on the Arduino that powers all of our logic circuitry and the microcontroller itself. It also feeds into our linear regulator over here, which takes an input of 9 volts and outputs a separate 5 volt rail, which is what's used to connect to our fan over here. The fan is then driven through an NPN BJT transistor. We have a potentiometer over here for adjusting the contrast on our display. So you can see as I turn it, the contrast changes. And we have a speaker for indicating when the fan turns on, and that happens when the current temperature exceeds our set point temperature, and then the fan would turn on to reduce the temperature. And so we can uh, simulate that here. I'll hold the I2C temperature sensor the temperature has increased, you heard the speaker beep, and you can now see and hear that the fan is spinning. And we can see that the current temperature is now 26 degrees Celsius versus our set point temperature of 23 degrees Celsius. I can use my buttons here to adjust our set point temperature. If I adjust it such that the set point temperature is above the current temperature, you can see that the fan stops. We get another beep from our speaker here and now it's waiting to see if it exceeds our new set point temperature.